Hello, my name is Laurie, and today I'm going to be talking about how to improve tonguing on the French horn. Now, when you first start playing, most, most players think that the tongue is supposed to get right in the center of the airstream, which is actually going to sound kind of sluggish and will not sound good or may not even be possible. Um, if I could talk to you a little bit about the placement of the tongue, try to keep the tongue stationary and then curl the tip of the tongue and make contact right where the teeth meet the gum at the soft palate. That is where you're actually going to make contact. And if you will think about tonguing there, then you'll have a much more fluid motion and, um, and it, won't, it won't bog down. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate proper tonguing technique. Now that was fairly legato tonguing. Um, you can also do some staccato, which means there's more separation between the notes. So this would be staccato. And then in a passage where you want to do more of a legato tongue, even more than the first example, you use a da syllable rather than a ta. And this is what it sounds like. So there, there's more connection when you say da, because it's not quite as pointed as the ta. And again, my name is Laurie, and I talk to you about proper technique with tonguing on the French horn.